Hi. Welcome back to another spine-chilling episode here on the Spoiler Zone. Today, we're diving into the latest installment in the horror saga that's got everyone trembling. Terrifier 3, 2024. Now, don't worry, I'm keeping this review spoiler-free, so you can watch it without fearing that I'll spill all the beans. This video is all about the vibe, the thrills, and just a sprinkle of terror to get you hyped for the movie without giving too much away. So, grab your popcorn or maybe a pillow to hide behind, and let's talk about Art, the Clown's Return. All right, let's set the stage. Terrifier 3 picks up where the last film left off, and trust me, the stakes are higher, the scares are sharper, and Art, the clown, is more menacing than ever. We're plunged straight back into the chaos with an atmosphere so thick you could cut it with a knife just like Art would. The cinematography this time around is on another level, creating a sense of dread that creeps up on you slowly before it grabs you by the throat. The darkness isn't just in the shadows, but in every single frame. It's like the director wants you to feel trapped in Art's twisted world. Now, let's talk about the man, or should I say monster of the hour, Art the Clown. This guy is a nightmare that refuses to be forgotten. In Terrifier 3, he's more sadistic, more playful, and oh-so-creative with his chaos. If you thought he was terrifying before, wait till you see what he's got in store this time. Art's character is like the twisted love child of horror icons from the past, but with a fresh, unpredictable madness that makes him stand out. He doesn't just haunt your nightmares, he takes over them, setting up a twisted carnival where he's the ringmaster, and you're the unwilling guest. What really caught me off guard this time is how Terrifier 3 manages to weave in a more complex storyline without losing the raw, unfiltered terror that this series is known for. It's like being on a roller coaster where you don't know if the next turn will have you screaming in excitement or clutching your seat in fear. The tension builds slowly but deliberately, like a cat and mouse game where you're never quite sure who's hunting who. And just when you think you've figured out where it's going, boom. It hits you with twists and turns that'll make your heart skip a beat. I have to say, the visuals in this film are a masterpiece of horror. It's gory yet stylish, twisted yet artful. The use of lighting and shadows creates this haunting vibe that stays with you long after the credits roll. And the practical effects? Let's just say they do not shy away from showing the brutality in full detail. Every scene feels like a beautifully crafted nightmare. The film doesn't just rely on jump scares it gets under your skin. It's that creeping dread, that feeling that something is horribly wrong, even when nothing's happening on screen. You're on edge the whole time, waiting for the next scare to leap out at you. Okay, quick question for you guys. What's your favorite horror villain of all time? Let me know in the comments. And do you think Art the Clown has what it takes to dethrone the legends of horror like Freddy, Jason, or Michael Myers? I'm dying to hear your thoughts. So, is Terrifier 3 worth the watch? Absolutely. If you're a fan of intense horror, blood-curdling suspense, and a villain who's as unpredictable as he is terrifying, this film is going to hit all the right notes. It's a wild, dark ride that knows how to keep its audience hooked from start to finish. Just be warned, it's not for the faint of heart. But hey, isn't that exactly why we watch horror movies in the first place? To be scared out of our wits, to scream, and to laugh at our own fear once it's over? All right, the Spoiler Zone fans, that's all I'm going to say about Terrifier 3 for now. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this spoiler-free review, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the latest movies and shows. And if you've seen the movie, keep the comments spoiler-free for the rest of us. Until next time, keep your lights on and your doors locked. This is the Spoiler Zone, signing off. Music